What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel right here on YouTube. My name's Two Leader J. This is a recap from the video I did yesterday because people were not too fond about what I had to say or they didn't like what I was saying at all or they wanted me to elaborate on what I was saying. So that's what this video is, a recap from the video I did yesterday. Now, this is an Illuminati exposed music video. If you're new watching this, um, I recommend staying in because I'm about to explain some of the stuff behind the artist Ariana Grande herself and her newest, latest single hit song, God is a Woman. So enough said of me rambling on. Welcome back. My name's Two Liter J if I have not said that. So here we go. We're going to be exposing this music video right here. So the song itself is called God is a Woman. And the name of the song itself is very blasphemous towards our Lord. And it's very blasphemous because the name of the song is called God is a Woman. Now, remember that these people are Luciferians. These are hardcore Satanists who produce and star and sing in these music videos right here. With all this symbolism and all the anti-biblical references that they have in this video itself. So, enough said on that. The video, the song, as I said, God is a Woman, okay? And it's very blasphemous because these people... They do not worship the same God as us, okay? So, when they call God, God, they are referring to Lucifer. Now, remember, and keep this in mind, Lucifer really is a female. So, the song and the name of the YouTube video itself on our channel is called God is a Woman. They're referring to Lucifer because Lucifer really is a female. The biggest trick that the devil ever pulled on the world was deceiving and tricking it that he is a man. She is a man, okay? Now, the Bible says, and Jesus also quoting from what he said when the Satan confronted him in the desert, he said, Lucifer, you are the prince of this world. You will deceive this world. The Bible says Lucifer will deceive all walks of life, all nations of the earth. And that's what he is doing right now through these music videos and through what he plots. Okay, so the biggest trick the devil ever pulled on the world was telling the world that she is a man, which in fact, she is a woman. That's why the devil has a gri grap, or a, how you say, grasp on these music videos, these women that are singing in these songs, alright? And Ariana Grande is one of those women, okay? So, when it, the song's name is God is a Woman, it's referring to Lucifer. So enough said on that. Let's get into this music video right here. Okay, YouTube. So when the video starts out itself, we have what appears to be a pedestal, which is Ariana Grande is sitting on, if that's her. And it's amongst a black and white coloring. So if you do not know what that reference is right there, what it represents is a Masonic symbolism. If you don't know what Masons are, they're like a fraternity order of secret society high class Satanists. They do not call themselves Satanists, but we know that they are Satanists because they are searching for a light. When you first join Freemasonry, okay, they tell you that you are searching for a light. Once you hit the 13th degree, because their ranks are called degrees in Freemasonry, you go from one, two, three, and so on. Once you hit 13, you find out what the light you were searching for is really the light of Lucifer, which the light they tell you because Lucifer is the light bearer Okay, the light bearer, which refers, uh, which translates from um, Latin, which would be Lucifer. Lucifer in Latin translates to light bearer, and it also calls Lucifer the light bearer in the Bible too, as well. That's what that represents. So we have Ariana Grande on a pedestal amongst his bed, and as I said before, okay, Lucifer is the prince, the god of this world. All right, so these four parts of the bed that point up, you know. 
These represent pillars. We have one pillar, two pillar, three pillar, four pillar. These are the four pillars of the earth, the four corners of the earth. And then we have what appears to be Lucifer, which is portrayed by Ariana Grande herself on this pedestal. Lucifer, the god of this world, the prince of this world, or I should say queen of this world, all right? Um, that's what that represents. It's just saying that, hey, Lucifer is the god of this world. That's what this represents right here. But moving along, YouTube, we're going to see some other stuff within the same exact video. So now we have Ariana Grande on top of a Bible, surrounded by white, straight Christian men, what they appear to be, what people want you to think, what Christians seem to be like, all slanderous and everything, all right? So she's on top of another pedestal, minding her own business, I guess, while we have straight Christian white men on top of the Bible throwing slander, fake, ho, bitch, awkward, fake, at Ariana Grande, which is actually Lucifer. And, you know, and it's pitiful that we come to a fact is that this is what Christians are portrayed by, all right? They want Christians to look like this. They want all the religious people, all the religious nuts is what they like to call us, to look and be portrayed like this. A bunch of redneck, a bunch of white-collared folks, conservative. That's the main focus in this part of this video right here itself. But moving along, YouTube, because there's way more symbolism within this same exact video itself. So now, here we go. We have Ariana Grande singing amongst three heads of dogs, all right? If you don't know what that symbolizes, let me go right here. Let me show you this. The three-headed dog is in Greek, and it's a Roman mythology, all right? It's called um, Cerbus. I believe that's how you say it. In Greek, mythology, Cerbus, or Cerebus. I, I, I don't know how to pronounce that. If you know how to pr pronounce that, let me know down in the comments. But it's a Greek or Roman often called the Hound of Hades, which is another representation of hell. Hades is um, the underworld of the Greek and Roman mythology. They're a pantheon of gods, so when you die, you go to Hades. If um, you're a bad person in the Catholic, in the Christian, or even Islam, um, how do you say? Religion, you go to hell. Okay, so that's what Hades is a representation of, which would be hell. And as it says right there, it's a monstrous, multi-headed dog, three-headed dog, sometimes maybe four. But it guards the gates of Hades, so it's how you say a guard dog with three-headed dog. Um, it's a three-headed dog, basically, is just leave it there. So that's what the three-headed dog in that video represents. And where where is that three-headed dog from? Hell. So that's what that represents right there. Lucifer, another reference. Moving along now, YouTube, moving along. So, now we have Ariana Grande surrounded by women, multiple, uh, lots of women, I should say, in white dresses. So, I do not know what that symbolizes, as I said before, but what I think it symbolizes is Masonic, or I should say Eastern Star, the female version of Freemasonry. That's what I think that symbolizes right there. Um... I cannot be too sure, as I said before about this, but I believe it symbolizes something to do with the fraternity order of Freemasonry, or more likely the Eastern Star since they're female. So if you know what that symbolizes right there, let me know down in the comments, please. But hey, moving along now, moving along, YouTube. Now we have Ariana Grande, which appears in the clouds in the sky surrounded by a candlelight flame of fire so if you do not know what that represents right there as i said before in latin lucifer translates to the light bearer okay the um, protector the holder of light in the bible it also calls lucifer the light bearer so what is lucifer he's a morning star is what the bible likes to call him he fell from heaven like lightning okay so he has to do something with light so this symbolism right here this reference is another lucifer reference as i said because lucifer is indeed a female and we have a female which appears in the fire okay what is fire fire is light it's in the sky what is Lucifer? He comes as an angel of light. So this representation right here is actually Lucifer, the light bearer, letting you know exactly who they worship and who is their God. Okay? God is a woman. That's the name of the video. So that's the representation of what this is right here. Ariana Grande in the candlelight flame. Lucifer, the light bearer, the protector, the holder of light, the angel of light. Okay, so that's the representation of what this part of the video is shown right here. No doubt, no doubt at all. But moving along now, as I said before, 
as in the music video. Lucifer, or I should say Satan, or whatever you want to call him, her, is the ruler of this world, the god of this world, god is a woman. But you want to know where the Mother Earth, that saying comes from, all right? Mother Earth, or the mother of the earth, Mother Nature. That saying comes from Lucifer, okay? Because Lucifer really is a female woman. So when we have Ariana Grande sitting on top of the globe Earth, she's messing around with the clouds. She even fingers a cloud later on, a hurricane. I don't want to even go down that path right now. But we have Ariana Grande representing Lucifer, the female ruler of this world, as the Bible says. She's sitting on top of the globe Earth. She's the Mother Earth. You ever heard that saying, as I said, Mother Earth? That's where this saying comes from right now, because Lucifer is the god or goddess of this world, all right? Keep that in mind, YouTube. Keep that in mind. So, moving along now from Lucifer on top of the globe, Ariana Grande on the globe, we now have these gophers popping out of the ground screaming, okay? These streams screams might come from the gophers or they might come from the fact is that these gophers popping out of the ground are actually fallen angels a representation of the fallen angels coming from the pits of hell uh, from holes in the pits of hell if you understand what i'm trying to get at all right these gophers are the representation of fallen angels okay returning to the earth from the pits of hell along with the antichrist so that's what that represents right here now kind of going back into my last video i did on ariana grande i talked about the lights and the orbs that they showed after the light that she was holding when she ran into the forest disappeared and how she birthed the Antichrist in that video, what it was representing. This is what this is representing right here. The fallen angels have came, okay? So the next scene, you're going to see what I mean. Now, we have Ariana Grande and all these clone-like figures of the woman that look just like her are on top of this mountain. And we have Ariana Grande walking away from the mountain, walking into a forest, all right? And then she's pregnant, okay? So if you don't know what I was talking about last time, okay, I have um the scripture right here, Isaiah, I think, no, Revelations um, 12, 5. And it says, and she brought forth a man child who was to rule all nations with a rod of iron. Now, keep in mind that this saying right here is referring to the good side, which is on the Lord. And Lucifer was after this child that the woman had birthed. But as I say before, these Satanists, these Luciferians, Freemasons, they like to flip roles, okay? Let's use the um, the, the Jesus cross for it. Uh, uh, an example, okay? They flip that shit. These Satanists, they use that as their symbol to mock Christians, to mock Catholics. They flip that shit around, okay? And that's their symbol. So whenever you see the inverted cross, that's not a Jesus cross. That's a Satanist cross, okay? Keep that in mind. But as I read, Revelations 12, 5, and she brought forth a man child who was to rule all nations with a rod of iron, and her child was caught up unto God, Yahweh, and to his throne, and the woman fled into the wilderness. So when we see Ariana Grande in the Light is Coming video running into the forest, pregnant, now we have Ariana Grande in this video walking into a forest from the mountain after they showed the fallen angels, kind of like in the um, the Light is Coming video when we see her go into the forest and the light disappears, it turns a red mist, which also means that she birthed the Antichrist. And we've seen all the orbs, and she's walking amongst the orbs, okay? So that's a representation of her amongst her kind, amongst the fallen angels. So, Revelations 12, 6, And the woman fled into the wilderness, where she hath a place prepared of God, that they should feed there a thousand two hundred and three score days, okay? So when we have Ariana Grande within this forest, which appears to be, because we can see some plants around, plants around her, so when that symbolizes is a forest, and she's pregnant, and then the child is gone, which is poof, she birthed the Antichrist, okay? She birthed the seed of Satan. They like to flip rolls, is what I'm trying to say. So after she's in the forest, she's there. They feed her for 2,000 and three score days, as the Revelation 6 says, you know, so on. Moving along now. So we have the Antichrist in the symbolic triangle right here, what Satanists like to use. Because the Satanist triangle is what the representation on the dollar bill is and all that. They all see an eye. But she has the Freemasonic hand gestures right there. So this could be is that. 
from the last footage that I just showed you where she's pregnant. She birthed the Antichrist, so that's what this representation could mean right here within the triangle. That this is the ruler of the world, the ruler of all nations, will deceive all nations, the Antichrist. So she can be representing the Antichrist herself in this scene. We do not know, but I do know that this is satanic right here okay moving along now youtube we have this little quote from madonna herself in this music video where ariana grande is appearing to be the god is a woman okay they're reading scripture that the lord says i think it's madonna somebody else in the comments said it was madonna so we have madonna reading scriptures uh ariana grande lip syncing to those scriptures that madonna is reading she has a hammer the hammer of thor after that she madonna's done reading the scriptures ariana grande throws the hammer up into the sky and it hits the glass and it keeps on flying out okay and then she's standing there okay and then it just switches back to um ariana grande in the triangle singing her song god is a woman you know shit like that with the masonic hand gestures and then it plays out for a while and then we have ariana grande what appears and she's amongst these angels right here which are indeed actually fallen angels okay because these are satanists and they like to flip roles okay youtube keep that in mind youtube keep that in mind that satanists they like to flip flip roles okay so her dancing amongst these people she's in the center so they're clearly praising her okay now god or their god i should say lucifer really is a woman okay so when we have ariana grande amongst these angels right here they're worshiping her they're how you say elevating her to a stance of where she actually is a god okay but i'm referring to lucifer not ariana grande being a god so we have all these fallen angels worshiping their god lucifer because lucifer is a woman that's the representation of this right here so after they're done praising and singing to ariana grande aka lucifer herself it zooms into this painting i believe this is by some famous painter um i have seen this before it's a creation painting and it has what appears to be a god which would be yahweh in the original painting with his creation the human beings in that's not what this is representing right here because we have a female on the very far left lucifer that female on the very far left is lucifer and we have the creation actually right here these women but that's not what they are representing because lucifer did not create the human race he she deceived the human race this is the ruler of the world so when we have this representation right here of lucifer on the very far left it's her connection, his connection to the world because she, he is the ruler of the earth, the prince, or I should say queen of the earth. So keep that in mind, you two, because these Satanists, they like to flip roles, okay? Now, that's the end of the video, God is a Woman, to Ariana Grande's new single and hit song out right now. And this is me recapping and showing you what I meant yesterday and you did not understand. So hopefully you followed what I had to say in this music video, and you, no, this video itself, and you understand what I was saying, hopefully, okay? I tried my best for making this, I hope you like it. Um, Anyway, YouTube, I'm going to end the video pretty soon, okay, because I've been rambling on pretty far into this video okay so i'm gonna end it here my name's two liter j catch you later i'm from the real ones movement check out my other content like subscribe and um just tune in lately for what i have to say check out my other illuminati exposed music video i will leave um a pin comment down in the se um the comments to uh, my other uh, Illuminati exposed music video to Ariana Grande herself, um, the light is coming. Hopefully you check that out. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think of this video itself. I know um, I talk pretty fast, but catch up. Let me know what you think. Hopefully you understand that Lucifer is indeed a woman. Peace out, YouTube. Catch you later. To later, J. Late. Time ain't money, no matter what those stupid morons who eat that kind of shit up may try and tell you. Anything lost can be found in any except you know the time. Yeah, I can't explain, all I know is I'm having fun Make it rain on the petty club Goes with my ones, get a goopy shocking me Cause you know I'm not in love But you my favorite girl, so you should know what's up Keep it 100, you know everything